What's up, family? It's Tom Hicks, 2020 here. Still not worked out for new greeting. I've been very busy, and I do apologise for the extremely cringe-worthy title. Um, I just thought of it because you know it's kind of important to kind of talk about this, and also, um, I am kind of free to talk about this because I'm not doing YouTube uh, professionally, which means I'm not making any money off it. Uh, I haven't even worked out my hey, social blade or okay no, <laughs> yeah it's a very awkward thing shot. to uh, walk on to I'm just gonna go on to um yeah this video is being uh, the gameplay is being recorded live with my commentary which means I'm gonna be playing the game at the same time um I yeah I just want to kind of get this out there I really do um the whole point of this video is my talk it's me talking about um COVID-19 the coronavirus uh personally um I have a lot to say on it because um, I just do. Uh, the reason why I am making this video and I'm not, uh, I don't care about getting demonetized is because um, the coronavirus, YouTubers who are actually talking about the coronavirus, from what I've heard, they're getting demonetized, which I think is pathetic. It is absolutely pathetic YouTubers are getting demonetized because they are talking about a global pandemic that is occurring right now. I think that is absolutely ridiculous. I think YouTube should be ashamed of themselves because they won't target the BBC. They won't target all the American um, news channels which have YouTube channels because all of them are talking about the coronavirus. Uh, they've got coronavirus as the very first word in the capital letters in their title. It's, oh, it's so pathetic, honestly. But the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because the coronavirus, I'm not scared of the actual condition. I am not scared of the coronavirus. I am worried for my family, uh, my grandparents, my second cousins who have, well, my cousins who have just had children. Um, I have a, a pregnant cousin right now. I, I'm worried. I'm concerned for all of them. I hope they are all okay. Um, it doesn't bother me personally, but the thing that does bother me is uh, everywhere shutting down. Um, for those who are new to my channel. Um, I am 16 years old and I start my GCSE examinations in four weeks time. I start my exams in May. Uh, well, I say, to be completely accurate, I'd say it's about five and a half weeks I start my real GCSE exams. Uh, for, which for me is basically the end game of my education. Everything I've been doing now for the past... Um, 11 years of my life has all been leading up to these exams. After my exams, I'm a free man. I don't have to go to school. I will. I have applied to go to the sixth form. Everything I've been doing for the past 11 years of my life has all been leading up to me sitting my GCSEs. And the coronavirus has really, really, really knocked everything out of the water. Because we don't know if... Uh, my school is staying open um, at the moment. But at the same time, that is not my school's decision it is the government's decision if the government wants to shut everywhere down then that means my exams will be delayed um we are putting in things in place so i can do my work at home which means my videos will be done for a long time my videos will not be um i will not be making videos for a long time if my school does close down because of the coronavirus i am very I'm really annoyed about it. I am I'm very annoyed about the whole coronavirus problem because for me, um, everything I've done for all these, everything I've done in terms of school has always been on somebody else's. Uh, every, my, my, I feel like I've lived my life on somebody else's agenda. Uh, schools. Um, not being able to do stuff because of my age and I know there's still things I can't do because of my age but I'm 16 years old I can start making some decisions for myself and the thing that really incite, excites me about doing my exams is that once my exams are done I get I get a bit more independence I get to do things which I want to do which you know I will always follow the rules I'm not a rule breaker I will always do what I need to do what somebody asked me to do. I'll always do it, but I'm finally at a point in my life where I can start living my life the way I'd like to move forward. I don't have to do things which I 
I don't have to do things which I... I don't have to do any more compulsory stuff. Yes, um, I will be have to do Welsh back at A level, which I'm fine with because I kind of... I don't mind it. I don't mind Welsh back. And to be honest, I'm just... I just want to, like, do things for myself now. I really do. And it's like, the fact I can't, it does hurt a bit. It does hurt. Because the coronavirus is kind of, it's everything is, nothing's clear anymore because of it. Um, people are panic buying, which is ridiculous. We don't know what's going to happen. It's all of it's kind of gone up in the air. We don't know what's going on. Um, plans people have made of you can't. I was going to Paris in August. I can't wait because I've always wanted to go to Paris. But now we don't know if it, if we're going. We don't know if we, can, if we can go because flights are being cancelled and it's everything's up in the air. It really is. It's like we don't know what's going to happen. But. Now, I, it's just a case of holding out hope, really. Um, the UK, as we know it, have not reached... We haven't reached the peak of the uh, pandemic yet. We are... The Boris Johnson's speech the other day was pathetic. I'm so sorry. But um, Boris Johnson said something like, um, You are going to lose your loved ones. Who starts a speech like that? <laughs> I'm sorry. Who starts a speech like that? It's pathetic. Um... Nothing, yeah, my problem is nothing's clear anymore. And that's the thing that kind of, it does, it does annoy me a little bit, the fact that we don't know. Because for my exams, and not just my exams, but every other year 11 student across the across the nation, across the United Kingdom, we don't know if we can do our, GC, our GCSEs, which are in five weeks' time. They could be postponed, they could be moved to another academic year, which means no sixth form. It, it, Everything's up in the air, and it's, we're not even the ones facing the, the worst of it. There's people out there dying. The A-level students who are going off to university, they can't go. They might not be able to go to where they want because the place is either quarantined or... Well, I don't know. All of it is kind of just up in the air right now. Um, I'm a very optimistic person. If you guys know me person. If you guys know me, you guys know that I'm a very optimistic person. If you know me personally, you know that I like to try to think... I like to try to think the best of everything, you know. I admit it, life isn't perfect, but at the same time... that Life is... Life is... If you spend all your time thinking about the bad stuff, you'll never really get to see the good stuff. Because your mind just won't let you go there. And... Personally, I like to try to see the best in every situation. Um, if we, I can't do my exams, then I will be very gutted. And I think my optimism levels will not be that high anymore. But at the same time, I'm just going to keep on going because the way I see it is if we let, if we let fear of a pandemic take over we'll never we'll never go for go forward we'll always just be looking backwards and i think now is time it's time we all pull together as as a king, uh, united kingdom and as a, as the glo as the world we should all work together towards making it better um i know that we've all got all that coughs and sneezes spread to see that's going around my school um there's posters uh Coughs and sneezes spread diseases. Yes, we know. Yes, we know. Coughs and sneezes spread diseases. But now it's it's just a case of bring it on. If we look after ourselves, I think we'll be okay. No, that's my honest opinion. If we look after ourselves, then there's nothing to worry about really. Um, take care of the people you love. Look, make sure they're okay. Um, if you have any grandparents who are who aren't well, then just make sure they're okay. That's, that's all all we can do. Um, if you are like me and you're n unsure of what's going to happen in terms of your exams, then just keep working for just keep working hard and prepare yourself for every single scenario coming. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can still do our exams at the set dates that have already been. 
We can still do our exams, hopefully. Uh, if you're an A-level student going off to university, then I'm so sorry. <laughs> I really am. I hope to God that you get into the university you want to, and I hope to God that everything works out, because 2020 at the moment has not been the greatest of years. We had the whole Donald Trump attacking Iran, almost causing World War Three. We had, if you're in the United Kingdom, we had Brexit, which was very... For some people, very stressful. Um, oh I got, I didn't really. It didn't affect me as much. Um, you know, it's just a whole lot for the future, really. Uh, and then we have the whole world goes through the coronavirus, and that's just that's that that's horrible. And to the people who've lost their, um, to the people who have lost their loved ones due to it already, I'm so sorry. And my my thoughts go out to all of you guys. Um, that's all I really have to say on it. Uh, in terms of my videos, because uh, you know I do like to, I try and keep you guys updated, um, or I'd like I'd like to start trying to be a bit more precise in when I'm doing stuff and like just be a bit more clear with you guys. Um, uh, in terms of my videos, um, if you guys haven't seen the recent. Um, it was, a, it was a handheld recorded video. Uh, I want to bring back my Arkham Knight videos. And it's been five years since the game was released. Um, five years of the channel. Arkham Knight was a big thing on my channel. I was going to do an Arkham City Let's Play. I was going to do an Arkham Asylum, but I didn't get around to it. And that's, that's another thing. If the coronavirus doesn't destroy my... Uh, Three month break, um, which I I could still have, might not have. Um, I want to do a let's play, a full on let's play. Um, I don't know what of. I was I, there's so many games which I wanted to do a let's play for, and I never got around to doing it. Um, Spider Man, Arkham City, uh, the Telltale, so many Telltale let's plays. Um, I'm currently, I've put a pause on my next Telltale fight scene uh, project, which is the, I have two, I have two, one is ready to go up as we speak, I just have not got around to doing it yet, which is a Bruce Wayne's punch, a Bruce Wayne punches compilation, and then this next big one I'm hoping to make, mark this to 200 video, of te the 200th Telltale fight scene. And that is every single fight in Walking Dead up to season from seasons one to three. That's what I want to do. Um, whether I get around to doing it, it's a whole different story. But in terms of Let's Plays, I want to do something. Maybe not something Telltale based. I do have Detroit Become Human, which I could Let's Play. I could try bring back an old Let's Play series, which I'd never got around to finishing off. Um, it's an Until Dawn. Uh, maybe do something like a new heavy rain let's play i don't know i want to start bringing back my my live streams because i miss doing them i just want to be a bit more productive on youtube and also start doing some more uh want to start doing new types of videos like drama based um like performances uh and monologues and stuff like that i just want to start doing more doing more drama stuff really um, yeah, this is going to be it for this video. The whole point of this video is to me talking about the coronavirus and uh, how horrible it is. And my number one, the thing I want, if you guys aren't going to take anything from this video, and if you are going to take anything, I want you to you guys to take away that we're all going through this together. So let's let's keep it that way. Let's let's be a strong community and let's fight this thing together because we this is the biggest thing I think the, the whole world has faced in quite a while and I think now it's time to pull ourselves together and kind of take this thing on as it comes but anyway um, thank you for watching this video don't forget to like comment subscribe do whatever you want share it with your friends um, and if you guys want to see more um, videos from me comment below what you want to see 
And yeah, I love you guys. See you guys later and peace.